Hello sa mga engineering students natin dyan, specialist sa CE, no? Na, welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Na, okay, so, after 1,000 years, ha, nangka-upload na ulit tayo. Anyway, uh, tapos na tayo sa, nang tawad doon, tapos na tayo sa attention members. Actually, yung overview lang. So, okay na kayo sa attention members, uh, black shears, stagger the vets. Anyway, uh, let's proceed sa compression members. Okay, na, I'm sure meron naman kayo idea, no, kung ano yung uh, compression members. So, mo, most of the time, ang pag-uusapan natin dito is actually, mga kolom. So, part 1 muna to kasi I'm sure mag-board kayo if ever medyo mataas yung discussions. Okay? So, ang compression members sa NCP 2015, you can see that if meron kayong hard copy no, sa section 505. Okay? Design of members for compression strength. Okay? Now, again, uh, same pa din. Uh, ASD, LRFD, same lang pag solve natin sa nominal strength. Yun nga, mag-iiba lang sila pag tatanungin ka kung <clears throat> design strength ba or allowable strength. Kasi pag design strength, LRFD, pag allowable strength naman, ASD. Okay? So anyway, uh, the design compressive strength down, LRFD, is equal to the factor multiplied by the uh, nominal load, of course, or yung nominal compressive strength natin. Okay? And the allowable naman, where, or yung ASD naman, is actually the nominal load divided by our factor of safety. Okay? And are determined as follows. Okay, now, ito yung nasa NCP 2015. Now, the nominal compressive strength daw, PN, eh, shall be the lowest value obtained based on the applicable limit, limit states of flexural buckling, torsional buckling, at saka flexural torsional buckling. So, actually, for global buckling, actually, dalawa may global at saka local buckling. So, for global buckling, uh, meron tayong tatlong limit states, flexural buckling, torsional buckling, at saka flexural torsional buckling. Okay, so meaning, you need to solve for the three, tapos pipiliin mo yung mas maliit. Okay, pag pinili mo na yung mas maliit, uh, yun na yung uh, yun na yung nominal load mo. Okay? So, anyway, uh, ano ba itong mga limit states na to? Okay, so, wala, for doubly, ano yan? <laughs> for doubly symmetric and singly symmetric members, the limit state daw is, uh, the limit state of flexural buckling is applicable. So, actually, uh, maaring sa isang section or sa isang uh, problem, actually, you don't need to check itong torsional buckling at saka flexural torsional buckling kasi uh, for, for this specific column, uh, actually, uh, you can already identify na, ah, okay, flexural buckling lang to. I don't need to check sa torsional at saka sa flexural, torsional buckling. Especially yung mga formulas nito, grabe naman. Uh, madugo yung mga formulas sa torsional at saka sa flexural buckling. Okay? So, number two naman, for singly symmetric and unsymmetric members, okay, ang limit states daw is actually pwedeng, pwede din sa torsional, flexural, uh, torsional uh, buckling at saka sa flexural torsional buckling. So, ano, ano ba tong torsional flexural, no? So, anyway, ito yung factors natin. For the LRFD, we have 0.9 and the uh, sa ASD naman, 1.67. Okay? So, try to memorize these factors. Okay? Let's proceed. Yan. Okay? So, ito yun. So, actually, uh, pag meron kang ano yung term na ginamit dito? Uh, doubly symmetric shape. Okay? Which is uh, doubly symmetric shape man din natin. Yun. Symmetric yung uh, W section natin o yung I beam natin. I mean, yung I section na to sa... Uh, x-axis, symmetric din siya sa y-axis. Okay? So, obviously, if you will, uh, if lalagyan mo yan ng uh, compressive load, it will buckle. Okay? So, sige, pag malaki na yung compressive load. It will buckle on the uh, weaker axis niya or sa y-axis niya. Okay? So, uh, medyo eh, posible naman na magbabuckle siya sa x-axis muna. Okay? So, if ever ito yung condition, so magbabuckle siya sa y-axis niya. Now, yan para sa flexural buckling. Now, ang torsional buckling naman is iba-iba. Uh, uh, now, sa torsional buckling, para yan sa mga, ano yan? Cruciform shape, uh, ano yan? Cruciform shape siya, yan. No? Itong, na, itong nandito sa figure natin. So, maaaring hindi siya mag-buckle, no? Tinan nyo, maaaring hindi pa ganito, kundi mag-twist lang, okay? Mag-twist yung uh, member natin. Okay, so, para yan sa torsional uh, buckling. So, i-check mo yan kung... Uh, ano yung capacity niya Now, minsan, okay, pag meron tayo mga shapes na kagaya nito Itong channel, okay, o parang, yeah So, anong tawag dyan? Uh, if it is subjected to a compressive force, okay Na maring it will buckle, tapos mag-twist din siya Bakit? Kasi, uh, isa lang yung symmetric na yun, Symmetric lang siya with respect sa y-axis I mean, sa x-axis, sa so, y-axis hindi, so Ang tendency, pag nag-buckle yan, okay, maaaring mag-twist din yan ng kaunti. Okay. So, that is for the flexural torsional buckling. Okay. So, sorry, medyo. Yan, sandali. Uh, bakit hindi nakikita? Yan, yan o. Oh, yan. Okay. So, balik tayo. Yan. Okay. 
So, I hope okay tayo dyan. Anyway, uh, I'm sure sa board exam, sasabihin man sa inyo kung uh, anong buckling yung mag-govern. Or, usually, I think ito lang yung ibibigay kasi ito yung madali yung formula. So, if ever ibibigay man to, uh, yung torsional buckling at saka flexural torsional buckling, most probably no, nasa likod ng question na ninyo yung mga codes okay, na gagamitin. At saka, of course, yung properties din. Kasi yung mga properties na gagamitin natin, ay, mga ano tayo dun, baka first time yung makita. Anyway, uh, let's proceed. Yan. Now, before tayo mag-analyze para no, sa mga buckling, buckling na yun, ito yung important, yung nasa NCP 2015, 505.2, yung slenderness limitations and effective length. Now, yung column slenderness natin, importante ito to determine no, kung ano tayo dun, kung uh, yung mga, kasi meron tayong mga boundaries later on, okay, tapos ang mga boundaries natin, uh, in terms of the column slenderness ratio. Anyway, so ang column slenderness ratio natin is, I'm sure alam nyo na, KL over R. Okay, uy, ba't may aso? Sandali. Ah, wala na. Okay, KL over R. Uy, sandali. Okay, wala na ata. Insert na main music. Anyway, uh, anong tawag doon? KL over R. So ano yung K? K is the effective length factor. I'm sure... Yung iba sa inyo familiar na ba? Sa mga hindi pa familiar, meron tayong chart mamaya sa next slide. L naman is the laterally unbraced length. Importante to dapat ang L mo is the laterally unbraced, unbraced length. Ang iba kasi ang L na ginagamit is actually yung length ng column na agad. Now, ang L natin dito sa KL over R actually is yung unbraced length. May iba kasing column na since weaker sila sa y-axis, binibrace mid-height or at, at mid-third points. So, mag-iiba yung L mo depende sa uh, length of the unbraced. I mean, Unbraced length ng column mo. Anyway, yung radius duration is a property ng section natin na makikita natin mamaya no, sa Excel file natin. Okay? Now, take note. Okay, take note na ang, if you are designing no, for a member uh, para sa compression, make sure na ang KL over R mo is actually, will not exceed 200. Okay? Pag na-exceed na ng 200, meaning, uh, baguhin mo yung design mo. Okay? So, yun lang ata para sa na slenderness ratio. So, that is KL. I mean, column slenderness KL over R. Okay. So, ang K, ito yung K natin. So, ang K, mag -de uh, depende yan kung ano yung end connections natin. Okay. Now, ito, nakuha ko to sa internet. You can actually search this K values sa, uh, yung, yung K values natin sa columns. Anyway, meron tayong dalawang value, theoretical value at saka recommended design value for, uh, for sa mga example problems natin, ang gagamitin natin actually itong Recommended design value muna. Anyway, if meron kayong tanong tungkol sa uh, K, ito ito yung uh, effective length factor natin, I will, uh, ilalagay ko sa description. Meron ako nakita ang YouTube video explaining these factors. Okay, na mas maganda yun. Okay, at saka mas maganda yung presentation na. Anyway, uh, I'm sure din, no, if uh, bibigay na sa board exam, so ang mga common lang talaga itong, point, yan, yan, yung fixed, yung dalawa, which is 0.5 or 0.65. Ito, yung fixed at saka pin. Okay, uh, I think yan, ito lang yung mga common talaga. Now, anyway, sasabi if ever man din ilalagay, nandun man yun, K is equals something. Okay? So, proceed tayo. Mm -hmm. Yan, okay? Na, punta, punta na tayo sa flexural. So, again, meron tayong tatlong limit states. Meron tayong flexural, torsional, at saka flexural, torsional, buckling. Okay, so first, flexural muna tayo. Ito yung pinaka- Madali. So, okay. Nasa NCP 2015-505.3. Okay. Ito yung compressive strength for flexural buckling of members without slender elements. So, ano ba yung slender elements? Actually, uh, before, uh, again, sinabi ko, di ba, meron tayong global at saka local buckling. Now, uh, kailangan pala natin i-identify, no, yung section natin mismo kung compact ba, non-compact ba, or slender ba. Anyway, uh, for this slide, pwede lang to sa mga compact at saka non-compact. Later on, uh, I'll try to explain kung ano yung com uh, compact, non-compact, at saka slender na mga sections. Okay? So, for now, uh, let's just assume no, na uh, hindi slender yung elements natin. Okay? So, the nominal compressive strength daw, Pn, shall be determined based on the limit state of flexural buckling. Pn is equals FCRAG. No, ano yung eh, FCR? That is actually the critical stress. Okay, now, walang problema yung AG, I'm sure, uh, eh, given yan sa problem, okay? Ang problem natin, ano yung FCR? Now, ang FCR, actually, meron tayong dalawang values. Depende, yun nga, sa slenderness ng column mo. Okay? 
So, pag masyadong slender, meron tayong itong yung formula. Tapos, pag medyo maliit lang, ito yung formula natin. So, ano yung uh, boundary niya? So, ano yung boundary ng slenderness natin? This is actually 4.71 square root of E over Fy. Well, yung E is the modulus of elasticity ng steel. And then, Fy is, of course, the yield strength ng steel natin. Or, or actually, pwede din na pag ang Fy over Fe mo, okay, is less than or equal to 2.25 that is actually a derived no derived uh, number ito ito itong derived constant na to then you can actually still use this okay now sir ano yung f sub e that is actually the yan yan elastic buckling stress which later on papakita natin okay anyway uh, ito yung formula again tandaan niyo limiting slenderness ratio natin is itong 4.71 square root of e over fy or ito anyway i, I think ito yung mas preferred niyo okay so, pag mas maliit, uh, we have this uh, FCR or yung critical stress. Tapos, tapos, pag mas malaki naman, we have this FCR. Okay? 0.877 F sub E. Okay? Now, both equations, notice na um, meron tayong FY. So, FE lang yung medyo mahirap na tayo isolve nito. So, again, uh, ano yung FE? FE is the elastic buckling stress. Ano yung formula ng FE? That is pi squared E over KL over R squared. Okay, so uh, try to memorize that formula. Now, I think yan lang para sa flexural buckling. So, let's try to solve a problem. Okay? So, ito yung... Ay, sorry. Ito yung problem natin. Uh, use in ECP 2015 and determine the nominal axial compressive strength for the following cases based on the limit states of flexural buckling. Okay, so you don't need to check na yung ibang mga limit states. Okay, flexural buckling lang. So, we have a column dito. Notice na uh, pin-connected both ends. So, this is actually yung K natin. Ano yung K natin dito? Sorry. Uh, pin-connected. Yan. Pin-connected. So, ang design value natin is, I mean, design K natin is actually 1.0. Okay. Later on, magagamit natin yan. Uy, sorry. Yan. Okay. So, ang una, ang length niya is actually 15 feet. And then, yung pangalawa naman, 20 feet. So, let's try to solve kung ano yung nominal uh, compressive strength niya. Okay. Sita ay dito. Saan yan? Yan. Ay, sorry. Yan pala. Uy. Ah, saan na yan? Da. Okay. So, given muna tayo. Uh, given. Ano yung given natin dito? Of course, ano yung steel natin? So, sa given, we have an A992 steel. So, paulit-ulit na yan sa example natin. So, FY is actually 50. KSI. And then, yung FU, I think hindi natin kailangan yung F sub U. So, FY lang yan. Hmm, yan lang ata. So, sige. Let's try to solve. Uh, anong una natin gagawin? Let's try to solve muna sa slenderness ratio. Okay, yung K. Saan yan? KL over, ah, I'm sorry, R. Okay, now to solve for this slenderness ratio, that is actually, ano yan? 1. 1.0. Again, bakit 1.0? Uh, pin connected kasi yung ends. Ang length naman niya is actually 15, but... Since ang R natin is actually in terms of uh, inches, mamaya. So, let's just multiply this by 12 para inch na agad. Okay. And then, ang R natin dito is actually... Uh, uy, ano yung R natin dito? So, check natin yung Excel file natin. Hanapin natin dito. By the way, yung Excel file, uh, ilalagay ko sa description. Uh, libre ito nasa AASC page. So, ano yung R? Uh, ano yung W10 by 33? Mm -hmm. Ay, sorry. Hanapin lang natin. Yan. Okay, so W10 by 33. Hanapin natin yung R. Asan ba yung R dito? Yan. So, yung R natin is actually 1 point. Ay, medyo maliit. Ay, ay palaki natin. Yan, oh. So, yung R natin for uh, W1033 is actually 1.94. By the way, ha, RY yung gamitin natin since ang buckling natin is in uh, ang buckling natin is nasa weaker axis. Asa na yan? Ah, ito pala. So, ano yun? 1.94. Okay. Okay. So, we have... Uh, ano yan? So, again, pwede nyo gamitin yung calc nyo. Ito na lang yung gagamitin ko kasi mas madali man dito sa matcad. Okay. So, we have KL over R na 92.784. Anyway, uh, let's check sa so limiting... Ano yung limiting natin na slenderness ratio ulit? 4.71. Akala ko 4.71. 4.71 square root of E. 
FY. Okay? Ay, sorry. So, 4.71 multiplied by Sorry. Yung E natin, modulus of elasticity is actually 29,000. Okay? For steel. And then yung FY natin is actually 50. So, anong sagot nito? So, that is 113.432. So, that is less than, I mean, greater than dito. So, meaning, since ilalagyan natin dito, since KL over R is less than uh, ito ito okay it's less than um, 4.71 paano ba ito yeah. FY okay we need to use anong nga ulit yung formula natin Okay, since that is less than, so ito yung formula natin, 0.658 FY over FE, FY. Okay. So, we can actually solve the yeah, FCR. So, FCR is actually equal to uh, 0.658 to the power, ano yun, uh, FY divided by F sub E. F E, tama ba? FY over FE. Now, multiplied by FY. Okay? So, I think wala tayong problema nito. We can actually solve FCR. I hope nakikita lang ninyo ha, yung mga values. So, solving for that, that's 0.65. Uy, wala pa pala tayong F sub E. Okay? Or yung elastic stress natin. So, F sub E is equal to, ano ulit yung formula natin? Pi squared E over KL over R squared. Okay, so that is pi multiplied by 200. I mean, 29 pala, sorry. KL over R. Meron na tayong KL over R, which is yan, uh, 92 squared. Tama ba? Tama. Okay, so anong sagot natin dito? Ay, mali. So, that is actually 33. Okay, so since 33 na yan, so pwede na natin isolve yung FCR. Okay, solving for FCR, that is actually, um, FY natin is actually 50. F sub E natin is ito. And then, saan na ba yan? Mm-hmm. Malay, malay. Okay. So, natin, that is actually 26.664. Ayok, tama lang, no? 26.664 KSI. Okay? After nyan, okay, then we can actually solve for, uh, we can actually solve for the nominal strength na. PN, Sorry. Simply equal to FCR multiplied by A G or your area gross natin. Okay, so FCR natin is 26.644 multiplied by gross area ng W uh, 10 by 33. So, yung gross area nito? Area that is actually 9.70 1. So, I hope nakita ninyo, 9.71. Okay, so, 9.71. Then, we can actually solve. Okay, so meaning, ang nominal strength natin for number 1, pag 15 ang, yan, yan. Ang nominal strength natin is actually equal to 258.713 kips. So, okay, again, uh, madali lang ha. Ma mahirap na siguro pag sa dito kasi nilalagay ko pa. So, anyway, uh, for number 1, okay, for number 1 ito, uh, first, ang gagawin natin, uh, i-check ninyo yung KL over R. So, that must be, uh, makukuha mo yan. Once nakuha mo na yan, so, 
i-compare mo sa limiting slenderness ratio natin, okay? Yung column slenderness natin. So, that is actually 4.71 square root of the modulus of elasticity divided by Fy. So, 113. Na-notice natin, no, na ang tawag doon, na-notice natin na less than, I mean, greater than siya uh, sa KL over R. So, pupunta natin doon sa code natin. So, we need to use this formula for the FCR. So, yung formula na yan, ang ano lang natin is actually yung Fe. Ano yung Fe? That is actually the elastic stress natin. So, yung Fe is actually equal to pi squared uh, E divided by the KL over R kanina squared. So, nakuha natin na 33. Direct sub lang, then you can actually get the nominal strength. So, ito na. Yan na yung sagot. Actually, uh, I think kaya nyo nang isolve no? Ang number 2. So, baka uh, matatagalan tayo. 20 minutes na kasi yung video. So, yan lang para sa uh, flexural buckling. First, uh, I mean, limit state of flexural buckling. Sa next video, we'll talk about <clears throat> torsional buckling at saka yung flexural torsional buckling. No? Nakakatakot yung mga formulas doon. Anyway, uh, I hope na may natutunan kayo. And of course, yung mga handouts, same ba rin, handouts, uh, ilalagay ko sa description. Uh, itong solution, ilalagay ko din sa description. So, uh, maraming salamat. See you sa next video natin. Holy Grail!